a hundred years ago, the State Theater in downtown Eau Claire opened its doors. Then six years ago, it hosted what many thought was its final performance. Now, as WEAU's Kim Leadholm tells us, there are efforts to bring a new life to the theater. Time I walk in here daily, I, like my heart just explodes. A staple in downtown Eau Claire is in the process of making a return. And I think the community is really excited for it to reopen. In 2018, the State Theater closed after issues from an aging heating system to other difficulties. Mo, who owns the building, put his money into fixing the plumbing and uh, a brand new boiler. Now, with those improvements, the theater is getting a new life starting with events. I've already booked a Christmas party, um, another event where a local artist would like to start doing sort of a backstage performances. The space has a lot of areas where people could um, use their ideas and not just the stage and the theater, the lobby. The theater isn't completely fixed up yet. There are still some future projects that will be needed. The front of the stage is um, unstable. We were able to have our event where there were performances up there, but as far as uh, bigger performances and heavier equipment, that will need a sturdier stage. There is a leak in the roof, so we would like to get that fixed. And there are l other little details. But the future opportunities are something the creative director of the theater is excited about. I think there are a lot of talented artists in this community, and I think if there is another door that's open to create art, to share ideas, um, to inspire and be inspired by the community. Um, I think we need to walk through it. So now, after six years of being closed, the theater may once again be a place to share and celebrate art. In Eau Claire, Kim Leadholm, WEAU 13 News. Thanks so much, Kim. There will be an open house at the State Theater on October 26th where people can explore inside the facility. The theater is also accepting donations to help with some of those maintenance projects. We have more information on our website.